using some of these dry grasses to make uh, a tender bundle. Staying towards the top, kind of moist. You don't want to go get anything towards the bottom. Or towards the ground. Pulling up all these dry grass. There's some greenery in here and that's okay. So that should be pretty good. And here we have a cattail pad. Grab some of these leaves plus some of the old cattail flowers. It's going to be used as our accelerant here. Got some of the leaves here. Got plenty of them. Now it's important to be careful when you're picking these leaves with cattails because you got some old stalks and old blades of grass that are pretty stiff and if you're not wearing glasses on or protective eyewear you could probably take one of these in your eye so be very careful that's the same for Phragmites or any real stiff grass right here grab some more cattail flowers So, end up coming out there looking like a snowman, but we got some pretty good flower heads here um, that'll give us our accelerant. All right, to make my tinder bundle, I basically take my grasses and I just want to make a bird's nest with them. Just make a bird's nest just like so. And make a depression. See, I'm kind of curling with my hands, making depression. Don't want to make it too tight, but I basically want to make it like so. Cattail flowers, we're going to, flower heads, we're going to use as our accelerant. And they are really good for that because as you start to break them apart, you can see they're real cottony. This is what you want as an accelerant. They just kind of explode. Okay? So this is what we want. I'm going to grab a bunch of this. I'm going to break this up. So I take the accelerant and I put it in the middle of my tender bundle here. You can see, I just kind of pack it in just a little bit, like so. So this is what we have for our tender bundle. 